that's what's up, Aries. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So flip flop it how you need to. Also keep in mind, um, this is a general reading. So take what's yours, leave the rest behind. This does resonate with you today. Please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys um, would like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. All right, Aries. Decisions, decisions. All right. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom. Um, could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Try to move to something really stable, though. Like, more than just normal stable, it looks like. Um, extremely grounded. Strength card, Leo energy. Virgo energy with the Hermit and the King of Wands. Since your energy could be dealing with the fire sign, doesn't have to be. All right, so, yeah, see, here's the Queen of Wands. So we have the Queen and the King of Wands. You're confident as hell, though. I can't take that card because I don't know where it fell. Oof. That was the devil that tried it. It's almost an obsession is what it felt like. Or a very strong sexual connection. All right. Show me the strength cards for Aries, please. Show me the strength card. Numbers are breaking down to an eight, which is about change. All right. So you've been, Wow confident as hell um you could have been saving money because we have four pentacles oh, this could go a couple ways i hate when i start talking about money but you have the four pentacles and nine and the ten pentacles you could really be in a money saving mode um working hard working on your money um your house your home that type of thing saving up for something or vice versa the other way this could go, love-wise, is, um, you know, you've really been more focused on yourself here. Um, your self-worth, really, um, I don't, I feel like emotionally, probably been a little held back here. There is something you're possibly holding on to, and that's taking some strength to hold back from. Could be a Taurus or someone that's at a distance here, yeah. Um, but being confident, independent on your own, a lot of abundance with the nine and ten of pentacles. So I feel like you're very grounded, very secure within like your pinnacle world. You could have saved up a lot of money here, but it's also about like emotionally, somebody's been holding back here, like more focused on their money, on their selves, building up that independence type thing. Show me this hermit, please, for Aries. This is Virgo energy. Okay, so somebody has the plan. Um, with the magician there, that that you have the power to manifest what you want. But with the hermit here, it's like um, I feel like you know well, hmm, maybe a little indecisive actually because the hangman is here. So somebody has done some soul searching, taking some time out, focused on themselves here, and they're manifesting. With the hangman though, um, it's like I feel like it's strategically being manifested here hold on i dropped the card it's strategically being manifested here because somebody he has a five of swords there hold on let me just get these cards show me the hanging what are they it's like somebody is thinking about manifesting something but i don't know if their intentions are great here show me this hangman it's like contemplation your wish in a new cycle, ending old behavior. So you put in a lot of work towards yourself. You're very confident. So now it's time to like figure out whether it's you or this person. Somebody is contemplating on creating some, like this new cycle, right? This new beginning. Why is the five of swords here though? Because the five of swords is somebody, yeah, it's not, it, show me this tower. This is a big change coming, right? Very determined to move forward. But I don't know why it's the five of swords here. I, I almost feel like it's like a, a, a 
not hidden agenda. It's um yeah, you're moving towards a, a huge opportunity. The five of swords is here, so you know you could be like a little resistant towards it, but also this can be somebody wanting to win at all costs, like very determined to move forward. Um, but we have the hangman and the hermit. So with the hangman, it hasn't the action hasn't really all the way been taken yet. So just with the five of swords, you know, and how abundant and confident and um, stable you come off, just be mindful of someone's intentions. But it can just be, you know, very determined to move forward because out of the blue pops this choice, this opportunity to begin a new cycle. Tell me about this king of wands for the outcome. For Aries, please. This is your energy. It could be a person that you're dealing with. Complete freaking happiness with the sun. Happiest card in the deck. The opportunity is there. New cycle is beginning for you. The five of cups and the four of wands. So this could have been could have been dealing with a married man or somebody could have um, something like that with the four of wands. But there's like a lot of happiness around this connection, this home now. Something happened here in the past um, that kind of put this emotion to where like you focused on yourself and you built yourself up. You could have really saved up and just really stabilized here. So like I said, things have been on pause and it's like somebody has been contemplating, but they realize where their happiness stands. So things are moving forward towards a new opportunity here. And that's why this five of swords is here, because this person could have lied to you in the past or kind of been more out for themselves and now they're having some regrets. So the opportunity is here for this home, this connection, this marriage, and it's coming out a lot happier now. See, yeah, the eight of wands, communication, but it's also things moving forward. So it's getting back on track. It's looking like, yeah, see the seven of swords. This is a liar, cheater, a thief. Um, somebody is having some regrets about possibly their actions or stepping out or um, you take it how it's applying to your time. But again, with that seven of swords and the five of swords, it doesn't make me trust this situation anymore. It's a general reading, but I mean, any more than I did before, you know, this was a head scratcher. Why is this here? And then we realized because this person did something to let you down, but the seven of swords still popping out here for the outcome. Just be mindful of that because we have the emperor, which is your energy and the nine of wands. You've been through this situation before. Maybe if, even if not with this person, you're just kind of guarded and wore out. You're not interested in going through that. So just be mindful because there is happiness behind this. A lot of it, a lot of stability, but we can't, I can't ignore those cards. So, all right. All right, Aries, I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time.